Hi, I'm David John with General Produce Company in Sacramento, California. You know, we're blessed with so much local fruit around here and different vegetables that we can experience. Sometimes it's just fun to travel around the world, see some other products that are coming into the U.S. and experience some different flavors. You know, right now out of China, we have a couple pears that are coming in. They're really a little more unique and they're cool. We have this yap pear that's kind of almost like a white pear, sometimes nicknamed that. It's a very thin skinned pear. It's in the apple pear family, so the interior is very sweet very juicy type pear. This is a pear that's meant to eat crisp, not to let sit on a counter and get soft like a lot of the US type pears. So this is something when you buy it, you want to keep it cold. You don't want to really leave it on the counter because most of the time the stores have already pre-ripened it for you. It won't last long, a couple days in the refrigerator and you want to be munching it down. Great for salads, snacks with a little cheese, or just nice small pear, give the kids right after school but cool flavors to it, a little bit different than the pears you're used to here. Then the other one we have out of China is a fragrant pear. Now it's a little hardier. This one will make um, a softer meal, so you can set it on to the counter, let it ripen more like a US type pear. Also very sweet, but not as tender, a little hardier in its skin. Sometimes you'll peel that, especially if you go into a salad, but sweet, a little milder, not as juicy. So this will work better with cheese or something along that. For the adult night, a little wine, cheese, you wanna try the fragrant pear. Now we're gonna keep traveling around a little and something you've probably seen a lot is the star fruit. Now star fruit actually comes wrapped, like many of these things. Even the yap pears are all wrapped to protect them as they're coming in. And this is just to keep them from getting scarred. So when they come out of the packaging, you're gonna see this yellow and green, sometimes a little heavier green, but you're looking for almost a brownish color. As they start to ripen, they'll get very brown. What you wanna do is cut with the knife the edge right here. Just take it real thin right off the edge, and then when you cut it, you'll cut it just in slices where it makes just a beautiful little star. Nice on a plate, <clears throat> looks very attractive. The other thing, it's sweet. If you let this ripen all the way up and get to that nice golden yellow, just set it on the counter for a couple days and it has a nice sweet flavor that'll come up to it. So you have a beautiful looking fruit on your plate plus something that's edible. You can slice this up very thin and put it into fruit salads, gives it a unique texture and kind of look and also adds a different flavor to it. Beautiful fruit that's imported. And then the last thing that we have here is called a kiwi berry. Now these are out of New Zealand this time of year. Oregon grows these local in the October, mm, November type months you'll see them. But this time of the year they're all imported. These aren't as sweet as our local ones. So when you get these they're kind of semi-sweet at best. They harvest them a little bit early to be able to make the trip. But they're cool. Nice little bite-sized kiwi eat everything, there's nothing to peel on them, about the size of a grape if you notice. So it's something different for the kids to play around with and have a new unique experience. You can cut them in half, put them into a fruit salad and enjoy different countries as you're coming around the world. Straight from New Zealand, that's the Produce Beat.